Right, before I start today's painting, it's time for another art supplies haul, which I thought I would show you guys, since the last one was quite popular. So I'll show you what the paintings I sold, I reinvested uh, maybe about 60% of that income, so I'll show you what I got. Uh, in the way of art supplies, good to get the ones out there. Right guys, this is the, this is a bit, just a bit smaller box than the last one I got, but I've got a whole bigger box there. I've got two big, two boxes uh, in total, plus a couple of extra bits and pieces, so I'll show you what's in this small box first. That's my voice. Now, some of this is from Amazon, some of this is from eBay, it's only two places I really uh, buy stuff from. Now, first of all, we have a spray can of Artist Matte Varnish. It's Winsor Newton. It's one of the best ones I, I use. But there's a close up of it, guys. And you can see if it's got the ball bearing on it to, to mix up the, the varnish. This I use regular for my oil paintings or uh, acrylic, acrylic paintings. So I'll be using a lot of that. Uh, over the next couple of weeks probably. Next, now, I've got another uh, Bob Ross paint thinner since they were going so cheap. This is going quite cheap just now guys on uh, Amazon. It's uh, 9.99 for a big 946 millimetres, just under a thousand millilitres of uh, odourless paint thinner. So if you're looking for a bad one, because these are normally about 16.99, 17.99, sometimes dearer, uh, as as you probably all gather. So 9.99, that's on a special offer on Amazon. On eBay, you won't get that price at the moment, so you'll have to pay but it's nearly £20 if you go on eBay. Next, which is a great buy, isn't it? So I took the chance, I bought one, uh, I think it was the last haul, and I bought I made sure I got another one just to stock up the supplies. This is a paint pot. It's a 500 millimeter paint pot of Loxley uh, acrylic. The reason I got that, guys, is because it was also on a special offer. About I think it was 5.99. This one was off eBay, so I recommend that one. I've tried it out, uh, so. It is good. It's it's uh, five. I mean, five hundred millimeter milliliters is a lot. I'm trying to buy these big tubs now, five hundred millimeters, for that reason because the wee tiny tubes is no use to me. You see the amount of paint I do, don't you? Next, but right, guys, I was telling you about this varnish, and uh, it's the one I use, the matte one, is because it's not it's not a uh, shiny glossy. It's uh, it's like a silky smooth satin finish on my paints. That's the reason if you were wondering why I was using matte instead of gloss. I do use gloss, but matte was for some special paintings that I've done. I think one of them was uh, Mary Queen of Scots, so I didn't have too much of a sheen on the uh, painting for taking photographs, etc, etc. Still gives the same protection, you know what I mean? But it's whatever you prefer, satin, matte, shiny. This next item I just put in this box uh, just for keepsake, but I think I showed you these in a vlog, a uh, couple of vlogs back, but it's the V mini canvases from China. So I'll open them up and let you see one, I didn't uh, open them up the last time. So I'll just to let you see. But these these will be really good for my uh, Tudor paintings, my miniature portraits. Yeah, guys. Isn't that lovely? All the way from Hong Kong. So, as I said to you, these were, I think they were $4.99 and free postage. Most of the items I get from China eh, or Hong Kong are always free postage, but I'm sure they'll add someone to the price, you know what I mean? But it's always, it's even cheaper than this country, so free postage, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you can't go wrong, but. Many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sorry. Mis miscounted there. I thought they'd be ten, didn't they? They'd be odd number nine. But anyway, that's the wee mini canvas. I shall show you them again. Now, the next item is, remember I showed you the Locks, the Locksley acrylics. Going back to that as well, guys. Uh, this one is smooth like, but it's not as uh, good as the golden ones that I showed you that I had bought. The golden ones are exceptional for covering and whatever. This is not too bad. It's better than the, uh, the works one I get. So, but I'm just showing you that five hundred millimeter because the next one is the same. I bought a whole series of. 500 millilitres of Galleria uh, acrylics from Windsor Newton. This is a new acrylics. That's the, uh, what's that one? That's the yellow ochre one. Uh, but I think I showed you one that I had got as well. But I had, what I did was I tested it out and I loved it that much that I thought I'd send away for this one just to try it again. Galleria acrylic Windsor Newton. These were 13.99 each. I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five of them. So I'll show you the, the other colours in a minute. But I thought I'd show you these because these are going to be good for my uh, fish paintings uh, that I'm going to be doing shortly. I've done loads of fish paintings, like, but I want to do some uh, larger ones, uh, really large ones. So hence I needed the 500 milliliter uh, pots. Not that I'll use them all in the one painting. This will do many, many paintings. But I thought it'd be e economical just to buy the 500 millilitres. So I tried, I got these, these are, there's one here that I got. Which one is it? There's a, there, I'll show you the colours. There's a crimson. There's kind of yellow deep hue. There's burnt umber, which I'll use a lot for wildlife and the fish paints and this one here this is one I was going to tell you just just about is the gallery acrylic I got this cheaper I got this for 9 dollars 9 I do it's an old an old batch you see it's a different label for the rest but I thought I'd get that one as well that's permanent green white so I've got various colours but I'll order more uh, <laughs> I just uh, that's what I could afford just now is because they're 13 99 each except for this one with 9 dollars I noticed they do have a couple of special offers on certain colours, so it must be colours that they've got a lot of, or it's old stock. So that was a batch of the new Gallery acrylics, and they're a lot cheaper than the golden. So I think that's uh, Windsor Newton's version of the golden uh, paints. It's their version of it. Next. Now, this is an oil paint I got. This was, it's either $12.99 or $13.99, this was for Amazon. Those were from uh, eBay. So I've not opened this up yet either yet, so I'll have a look at this. This is, it's called Peebo. You can see the name there, guys. Now, if you remember the last haul that I did for the supplies, there's a big spray of people for the uh, pastels. Uh, it was like a varnish for the pastels. So that was, I needed this colour for one of my tiger paintings. It's, uh, it's in a, it's in a, oh, it's cadmium yellow deep. It's in a foreign language there. Cadmium yellow, yellow deep. So this is another painting that I'm going to try. I'll let you know how I got on with that, but it's a uh, Pibillo. Uh, make and it was thirteen ninety nine. I think it was twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine. Uh, I'll probably put it on the screen for just to just to be sure. But that's uh, another. This is the, the normal size that I use. It's a uh, two hundred and is it? I need my glasses on. Is it two hundred millimeters there? It's in very very tiny. Uh, right, <laughs> hence I needed to put the glasses on. That's a two. 100 millilitres. Uh, sometimes you get them in 210 millimetres. Depends on the make. But that's Peebo and that's Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, which is a colour I use a lot of. Uh, I used to 
uh, no doubt I used to, I, I love Van Gogh, uh, so you know how he used to uh, paint with a lot of yellow. Next is, oh it's white, I've told you about this before guys, this is, I think this was $17.99, I don't know why, but white's always the most dearest oil paint you can buy, but it is alkyd, so do you know how much white yeah, this I go through for my quirky paintings, but I may as well show you because I got it, as I said, I'm going to the, the stock, the supplies, never run out of that, well I never get enough of it, you know what I mean, I always run out of that, so, but, uh, now that I've got these, I'll try and not <laughs> run out of it uh, as much. So anyway, what's next? I've got a nice special offer, guys. Uh, I usually buy brown partial tape, and it usually costs me six ninety nine, seven ninety for six rolls, and that's the cheapest I think it is six ninety nine. But this lot here, guys, I'll show you. I bought for four ninety nine, free postage again on eBay, and it's got the two fragiles. Two brown and two clear cellar tapes, four ninety nine because I always look for the cheapest I can get, and I'd have preferred the brown tape, but even better because uh, they, they all do the same job. They cover the, the partial of the boxes, so that's a tip for you guys. If you're looking for a uh, partial tape to partial up all your partials, you know I use it a lot because uh, me being uh, an EB seller, so. That was six rolls of tape for four ninety nine, which is excellent. <laughs> Next, that's just finished that box there, guys. This is a watercolor pad that I got. Now, I use all various types of watercolor pads. Reeves is the one I've been using lately, only because it's the cheapest. All watercolor paper is good as long as you, yeah you know how to use certain papers eh? and I know how to use quite a, quite a few of them so anyway that one's for these I think this was wait I think that I think it was 9.99 you normally pay about 12.99 for these guys but on eBay this one's going for 9.99 and it's 12 sheets eh? so that's a great one eh? but as I said to you I use various eh, makes of watercolor paint eh, pads so that was, I always go for the cheapest that's on, on special offer at that moment, but this is a really good one that I use. You've probably seen me showing you other pads, the different makes, but as I said to you, they all do the same job, so I go for the cheapest. It's e economical for me because I do such vast amount of paintings. Now what's next? Guys, there's a huge box here that you've probably seen. This is I got from the works. Uh, if I can show you. Look guys, it's a huge, huge box. It's full of canvases. So, I'm going to show you what's in that one. <laughs> the postman. Uh, I noticed my postman was a new postman this time because of all these, these big box deliveries that, that I was getting. Especially with this next item over here that I'm going to show you. This was 12 point. 12.5 kilograms in weight so you can imagine that box there that box there and that he came up no one really was sweating but he was a big a big burly guy so i know he had a van because i had the van outside so but anyway let's go on with that you've seen that box here eh? so let's have a look i've got 10 of these guys that's how it's such a big box i've got 10 of these for what was the price now well, I need to put it on the screen, but I think it was about uh, thirty-six pound or something for for ten. There's a right price on four pound each. Uh, but these are a deep-edged canvas. It's a box canvas, and it's size twelve by sixteen. The, the sizes are there. If you want to have a look at them, guys. Twelve by sixteen. This is the right size for my portrait paintings. I'm going to do a whole series of portrait paintings, but that's for the works. You get ten on a special offer. If you buy them in in bulk, you get them special, and you get it free postage if you buy it over twenty five pound in value. 
So I've got 10 of these, that's why it's so such a big box as I said. And inside the box as well is more of these guys. I kind of get enough of these. These packs are, I think it's three pound, it's three pound a pack, either it is. So there guys, three pound a pack, you get three in a pack, so I've got one, two, three, another four packs of these I've got. And that's what's in that box. But you know yourself, I buy a lot of uh, canvases and whatever from the works uh, just because it's economical and it's not that it's, uh, it's cheaper material uh, to work with or whatever but I've, I've never had any, any complaints with anything I bought for the works. It's uh, uh, great, great shop and it gets delivered, as I said to you, gets delivered straight to your door, free postage as long as you, you spend over, I think it's... I think it's above 20, 20 pound or 25 pound or something like that. You would need to have a look. But I've left this, I've left this heavy item to last just to let you see uh, because it was such a heavy. But remember, I told you I was going to do a bit of a sculpt in the next in the next couple of weeks. I fancy doing a bit of sculpting if I get time. That is. So I send the way down to Devon to this company and guys 12 12 point yeah 12.5 kilograms look <laughs> 12.5 kilograms there's the maker there so this is for eBay and this is 12.99 for uh, this great big pack the last time I got a 6.5 kilograms so uh, I, honestly, I thought that I had ordered the, the, the same batch, uh, so I was quite surprised when it came out. It was twelve point five colour, but the six six pound uh, six point five one that I ordered, I'm sure I paid either seven ninety nine or nine ninety nine uh, for that batch. That's what got, got me thinking, because this was only twelve ninety nine for this whole uh, pack of air dried clay, so I'll get, I'll get quite a few sculptures out of this and once it's dry I'll paint them and I'll let you see uh, what they look like once they're painted. And what I'll do guys, I'll just nip away and I'll show you my other sculpture I've got. I'm busy uh, painting it just now so give me a minute. <laughs> That's what I've done so far. I've been is a sculpture to coincide with my Eden, my Garden of Eden Birds and Animals. So I'm doing sculpture in that. This is the one, I think this weighs about five kilograms. Got my signature and butter on the, the bottom as you can see. But uh, I'm going to be putting that on a plinth. It's uh, just, just to protect the surface it's going to be sitting on and whatever. But as you can see I'm still in the process of painting it. Uh, I've got a bow tie to put on here, but it's a uh, it's one of the gentleman penguins that's from the Garden of Eden, my series of uh, birds and animals. So he's going to be finished soon. I thought I'd show you that just to let you see, but I'll be making it as heavy ones uh, with these. I'm going to split this up into uh, uh, portions of maybe one 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 or two kilograms each and make a multiple of uh, birds and animals. So anyway, that's my uh, art supply haul for uh, this, this, hopefully this month. I'll probably order more if I uh, sell a lot more paintings or whatever. Because as you know yourself, when you're an artist and you do, you have a, your own art business or whatever, you, you never ever uh, look for things to buy for your uh, your business because you're always in need of something uh, <laughs> so well the times are good just now I'm gonna keep on ordering my art supplies for the times when it's a leaner but uh, fortunately just now with everybody staying in or whatever I think that's one of the reasons uh, everybody's online shopping and whatever that my uh, art business is doing reasonably well so uh, I'm happy 
And I thought I'd show you that art hall as well because this afternoon I've got to go and do some more of those uh, watercolour paintings. Uh, I always run out of them. So anyway, until next time, I'll say bye bye and I hope you like my blurn and my art supply. <laughs> so until next time, bye bye. <laughs> oh, I've got a, a painting haul to do next, so that'll probably come next. Look out for my nice quirky painting haul. Next! <laughs>